Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for August 2022. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So, current situation, four of cups, nine of wands, queen of cups, knight of pentacles, our challenge, five of wands, ten of wands, double the energy, crowning energy, judgment, hierophant, core of the situation, five of cups, two of pentacles, in the past, four of pentacles, and the full in the future the moon and the queen of swords which is positive considering the unknown that we can associate to the moon energy our focus eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles bottom of the deck strength card a matter of trust a matter of patience even the potential decision to hold back there can be an offer in favor of some of you guys and it is fair to say that maybe you are not going to be thrilled about it because the offer can come from someone that you know uh, particularly well unlikely trust major factor for me peaceful resolution this can be something that already happened guys uh, the other person didn't get the memo and that's why they can try to be with you one more time it can be necessary for some of you to make a point clear one more time so that you can even choose a new direction but this can even be something that you can say to this person if you want uh, to find a romantic partner look elsewhere because I am not available for you this is what some of you can even consider to say today's suitor but it can even be an ex guys the suitor can be a former lover palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility coffee cup let's see each other let's meet uh, with each other meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship and we also see the runner which is meaningful guys because this can speak about some of you kinda let's say someone that can decide to to go away to go in a different direction so our focus guys effort an attention to the details, the Eight of Pentacles, a mindset, determination, dedication. There is a drive in order to achieve goals. And there is also a knowing when it comes to the opportunity to build a connection in a stable and reliable way. This person might not be uh, the one for you because you may have experienced an unbalanced situation with them in the past um, following the woman up woman down dynamic that we usually mention in the readings um, lacking balance lacking an equal give and take and it is uh, absolutely um, understandable that some of you disappointed by this person before the three cups in the four of cups and the same three cups in the five basically can be extremely cautious when this person reaches out the wall in the nine of wands up for protection 
extremely difficult to overcome it, you know? It's like uh, the walls of the castle. And you can be disappointed uh, deeply when it comes to the connection with this person. Because maybe, maybe... Maybe you were thinking that they were different. Then it's like um, you have been hammered by the situation with them. And now there is a, there is a gut feeling. There is a knowing, there is a sixth sense that can play in your favor, and it is uh, due to the Queen of Cups energy. We know that the Queen of Cups is in touch with their heart, or with her heart, let's say, and she is able to figure out if the intentions in favor of a connection can truly be genuine and sincere enough in order to grant success. To the connection moving forward this is questionable guys and speaking about the knight of pentacles this can go two ways this can be a grand gesture that this person is trying to bring to your attention kind of like the divine offer that we see in the four of cups but this gesture has taken or can take some time in order to come and it can be too late it can simply be too late um, for this connection to be repaired and the second uh, meaning can be about the fact that this can be your energy not in a hurry to find someone that can be deserving of the Ace of Pentacles energy that we see uh, in the card and also someone able to join forces with you in order to build a partnership that you can trust a partnership that can go the distance because there can be stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility when it comes to the ability to adapt in the face of several circumstances that can be at play in the everyday life. That's why this person is going to try, guys, but they bring uh, confusion, they bring inner conflict, they bring turmoil, maybe they bring noise. What if your inner circle of uh, trusted people can question the opportunity for you to be with this person. Maybe someone uh, that you can trust can say to you, look, you can find someone better. You have already seen what this person can bring to you. And it can be a struggle. And some of you can legitimately think that the connection is a struggle because we also see the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is linked to the Five. This is the last mile, guys, for me, because the Ten of Wands is about that. Um, meaning that it is the last try that this person is going to manifest in order to convince you guys that they are the real deal, you know? But, you know, Convincing someone to be in a romantic connection is already something that doesn't feel right. It's not a matter of convincing a person to embrace a love connection. Uh, it should happen naturally because there is, um, there is a knowing, there is an understanding, there is a, a feeling. And after all, there is a saying in English that is uh, about when it feels right it just feels right this is not the case and in the crowning energies we have the judgment which is basically a second chance or at least the opportunity to consider a second chance but the odds are not in its favor 
uh, also following the unlikely oracle card and the hierophant can be even what the other person is willing to bring to the table because they can even say look here I am let's go the distance together let's get married because I want you beautiful words guys but what are the intentions and if these words are true why the connection experienced the five of cups energy before were the intentions different previously so there is an illusion the moon there is a facade the other person is trying to work an angle that can be in their favor yes but not necessarily in favor of you guys and the queen of swords can spot that can spot that nonsense guys the hierophant can be even the higher goal that you want to manifest or that you want to achieve but we know that without trust love cannot grow and if we think about the hierophant as the chance to build from the ground up a partnership that can truly thrive towards the levels of commitment that can uh, bless a connection in the love arena this situation uh, doesn't check the boxes you know that's why the two of pentacles juggling act when this person even out of the blue brings to your attention let's say let's say an offer um, following the cloud with the cup in the four of cups uh, you can truly embrace the two of pentacles but this is a loop this is like listening to a song that uh, we have listened to multiple times and we are not exactly crazy about it and we may even desire to press pause or stop on the jukebox or on the music player let's say and guys rough waters behind the man in the, in the two of pentacles uh, rough waters that can be about the challenges that the wounded warrior has gone through when it comes to this interaction and the five of cups is about regrets something that didn't go according to expectations usually we say that this is a missed chance this can be a missed chance but according to the perspective for some of you it can be it can be a blessing in disguise allow me to say because the other person was not really up to the task um, when it comes to the opportunity to offer what some of you guys were looking for and in the past there is a contrast the fool which is a leap of faith we know that this is an extremely open energy and it shows up with the four of pentacles closed off the complete opposite grumpy this is the word that is coming to my mind some of you were dealing with someone grumpy someone that was without the ability to not take themselves too seriously you know no irony if you get my point uh, this is someone that is not able to joke a little bit about themselves because they get upset and this is a factor that sometimes can truly really turn off uh, the alchemy of a connection then the four of pentacles can be about a couple of other things uh, it can be about stubbornness guys and this is another factor that can be problematic it can be about someone a little bit um, careful with their finances I will give you an example just to make uh, the point clear when you tried to let's say date they were particularly careful with 
um, the money, you know? They, they kind of preferred to avoid to spend much. And we come back also to the Six of Pentacles. Crumbles, you know? I guess that the word can be stingy in English, but we are going to look it up uh, just for um, clarity, let's say, and then we are going to write down under the video. But this is also another energy that basically may have uh, come up as a progression because some of you maybe decided also to close yourself a little bit more because the connection was not enough, basically. And um, in the future position, the moon, which is an energy about the unknown, guys, it is fair to say that it can be a surprise for some of you to receive the token coming from this person, but the moon can also be a fear factor, and so some of you can fear, allow me to say, the opportunity to be with this person because it's not really the connection that uh, you were hoping for. And we have to be brave, and this strength card is on point, in order to face the moon energy, which can even be about a shadow work. And it's like when we have to take a good look at a spot that we would prefer to avoid, because there is a sense of discomfort, but instead we have to look at that spot precisely, because there we can find precious, precious answers in order to raise the level of awareness in our own favor. And the Queen of Swords can cut through the veil of illusion and confusion and doubts that we can associate to the moon. Guys, some of you may have the necessity to speak up when this person makes their offer to you in order to let them know in a polite way, in a, mm, in a cool way, you know, keep your cool, that this connection is not the one that um, you are looking for. You can be flattered, you can be um, surprised indeed to hear from them one more time, but the Queen of Swords is not going to bow down she is going to speak up, she is going to speak her truth in a precise way, in a clear way, so that misunderstandings can be avoided, and this is absolutely necessary. And then the verdict of the Queen can be different from the one that another person may desire to hear, but as long as the Queen of Swords is in alignment with her truth, she is good to go. And she can also be the one able to break the loop in the Two of Pentacles. This cycle is not over yet, but it's about to be. Because let's say that some of you can uh, sit down with this person in order to have a um, cup of coffee together. You can speak up without making a fuss about anything. It's not necessary. And then you can kind of drop the mic and you can move on. The runner in this case, guys, can be truly someone that decides consciously to move on from a situation that was not perceived as a real chance to find the higher goal that was set um, in our mind. That's why there can be a peaceful resolution. But Without trust, guys, we know that. Without trust, love cannot grow. And so the odds are not in favor of this suitor, despite, um, despite how much they can hope to be successful in this endeavor. Maybe they had their chance and they, they blew it. They threw it away. And now we have to move on. It's part of the journey for all of us. So guys, let's see where we are going. I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. There is an extended on Vimeo. I'll see you there if you want to join me. The link is below. If you resonate, let us know. Leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. 
Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.